Look at this. Now look at this. See the difference? Now the secret to this improvement that's not really a secret is plyometrics. Plyometrics is a form of training that focuses on your speed and your power. For jumping higher, it's just as important as strength training. If anything, it might be more important since it follows the principles of training specificity. This basically means you're training in a way that mimics your goals. So if you want to jump higher, you're jumping a lot. If you want to run faster, you're running a lot. Yes, strength training works on your explosiveness too, but to a certain extent. With plyometrics, you're dealing with less weight, but you're able to move a lot faster, making you prioritize speed and explosiveness. This is my current plyo workout that I've changed over the course of my training. Put in a proper warm up all the time. This is basically what I do for a general warm up. I do these to warm up specifically to enhance my blood flow and make sure my muscles are activated. Doing these will improve your range of motion and flexibility, function of the muscles, and will ensure that less injuries occur. My first exercise are weighted squat jumps, 5 sets of 5 reps. After all my time training, this is the one exercise that I have continuously included in all my plyometrics workouts since the beginning. As soon as you squat down into about a quarter squat, you want to explode up as high as possible as fast as possible this is to help with your reactive speed as well an alternative would be to perform jump squats with just your body weight next i do kneeling jumps into a vertical jump for five sets of five reps you're using an explosive hip thrust movement to get from your knees to your feet and as soon as your feet touch the floor you want to jump up as high as possible that first movement to get from your knees to your feet is a great way of working on the explosive aspect of your hip extension your hips play a bigger role in jumping higher than you think adding a vertical jump on top of this makes this one of my favorite plyo exercises since it improves many parts of a jump. This is an advanced version of an already good plyometrics exercise which is a regular kneeling jump which is a good alternative if the one with the vertical jump is too difficult. Now listen closely. If you really want to jump higher you want to include this exercise in all of your plyometrics workouts no matter what. Maximal approach jumps 5 sets of 5 reps. If you had to pick only one exercise to do it to increase your vertical jump this would be the best choice. While these other exercises help with your explosiveness and power too this one actually works on helping you jump in a basketball game or a volleyball game, or whatever sport you play. It's like performing sets of a full 100 meter dash when you're training to compete in a 100 meter dash. If you're a one foot jumper, you wanna be doing one foot jumps instead of two foot jumps. If you're a left right jumper, you wanna be doing left right jumps instead of right left jumps like me. Next, I do sprints for four sets of about 30 to 40 meters. Sprints are a good plyo exercise in general. Sprinting trains something called the stretch shortening cycle because of the short and powerful ground contact times. Your forefoot touches the ground for a fraction of a second, and this is what helps with your reactive speed. Sprinting will also help with your approach speed which is really important. The faster your jump approach is, the more horizontal momentum will be transferred into vertical momentum. Next I do pogo jumps with two small jumps and one large jump which equals one rep. I do these for five sets of eight reps. When you're doing these you want to make sure that your heels never touch the floor. You're landing on your forefoot and you're jumping off of your forefoot. This will work on the springiness of your Achilles tendon and work on your ankle stiffness. This is also going to help with your calf muscles. The more springy your tendons are the faster and more explosive you will jump. Lastly I like to add at least one unilateral exercise such as these single leg step up jumps for five sets of five reps on each leg. These will balance out the strength and explosiveness of your legs if you have any imbalances in them. Single leg bounce can translate well into two foot bounce and it adds some variety in your training. If you're a single leg jumper you want to do more of these single leg exercises to maximize on your preference. Now you're probably thinking wow this is gonna help me increase my vertical by a crazy amount. I'm gonna be able to dunk by next month. Well it's not that simple. You gotta make sure you're consistent with this. Yeah consistency is key blah 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 we've all heard it before but it's so true and it's something I can't stress enough. You can't expect to run a marathon by training for a couple of weeks. Jumping higher and getting more athletic is a marathon. It's gonna take a while. This workout specific has helped me personally increase my vertical jump and it also helped me break my plateau. Do this workout at least twice a week and add at least one session of strength training in your week. You can find my strength routine up here. Strength training is a really important aspect and this really helped me out. Do not half-ass these exercises. Perform each rep like your life depends on it. This will only be an intense workout if you make it an intense workout. Intensity is one of the most important aspects in determining if you will improve or not. Let me know how this workout goes in the comments, man. Let me know what you guys think of the new face cam.